U.S. troops in Iraq tonight are searching for a missing Air Force fighter pilot after his F-16 jet crashed near Fallujah. A U.S. Army Kiowa helicopter hit by ground fire near Samara. A U.S. helicopter is down in Baghdad. Urban rescue. Hostile territory. Nightmare for trapped U.S. troops. Rescue, rescue. Challenge for combat search and rescue men trying to save them. The scariest thing I've ever done in my life. Helicopter pilot TC shares for the first time his urban rescue of special forces. So we got the call to go in, and these guys were pretty busted up bad. Had it not been for the pararescue men, uh, these two special forces guys would have lost their lives. Pararescue men, or PJs, like Kyle, who worked the urban recovery of a British aircraft in Afghanistan. We were basically the first ones in on the ground. You got the whole town is coming out, you know, to check you out. A lot of uh, Taliban sympathizers, and basically you just have to keep your calm. Calm was key on a different Afghan mission for rescue pilot call sign Skinny. There was a SEAL team executing their evasion plan in a running gun battle with the, with the enemy that was out there. Skinny's crew went in to get an injured Navy SEAL hiding in a village out. They had taken an RPG in the middle of their group, and that's how he had actually gotten wounded, and then he had gotten separated from them. More on his story later. With ongoing operations in hostile urban terrain, Real-world training is crucial. Rescue, rescue. Wizzo, a backseater in an F-15, will soon deploy. Tonight, he plays survivor, shot down onto a building. I'm right in the middle of uh, an urban area where there's obviously enemy. Injured, stuck, his GPS broken. I have my radio, but I can't tell them exactly where I'm at because I don't really know. How real is this for you? I mean, you are going to be deployed very shortly after this scenario. Uh, it's as, as real as it can get without uh, being in enemy territory. Just set your goggles up so all you have to do is slide them down off of your helmet. Tips from Survival Evasion Resistance and Escape, or SEER Specialist, Jesse. As far as uh, enemy position, he needs to have a fairly decent idea of uh, locations of these forces. So the rescue helicopter coming for him doesn't get shot down. Smoke 4-1 Bravo. Wizzo reaches Sandy, the A-10 fighter craft looking for him overhead with the helicopters. Are you threatened uh, in the ejection, uh, my leg was potentially broken. Does it bring it any closer to home that, hey, you're going over there? Makes me think long and hard about it. The voice on the radio is A-10 pilot Sandy, who's also about to deploy. You're up there trying to watch out for these guys, but that could be you on the ground someday. Absolutely, and it could be me on the ground uh, while we're out there trying to pick somebody else up, too. Jolly arrives. That's the helicopter team and the PJs, like Mark. If it were easy, everybody would be doing it. The potential for disaster there is phenomenal. When you're looking at a 22,000-pound aircraft hovering, within six inches of its position. They could be blown off the roof or, PJ Kyle says, get shot at. It's very vulnerable. Everyone and their mom's gonna come out and they're gonna wanna, you know, take pop shots at you. In the middle of all this, they're medically assessing the survivor. You gotta be fast, you gotta be quick, and you gotta be, uh, you know, know what you're doing. The best feeling's probably uh, once they get back on board and you, you pull power to get out of the zone. Which brings us back to the Navy SEAL hiding in a village in Afghanistan, waiting for Skinny's combat search and rescue men after a gun battle killed the rest of his SEAL team. When you were flying into this Afghan village, you never felt at all that this might be a trap? You know, that was always in the back of our minds uh, that it could be. Especially when his PJs jumped out and were met by men dressed in traditional clothing. You know, the one Navy SEAL identified himself, and he had been wounded. They grabbed him, and we got out of town. Later, they recovered the bodies of the SEAL's teammates in a challenging high-altitude mission. Came into a hover and basically this little small hole in the trees and uh, hoisted you know, the, their two bodies out. I'll never forget when we landed back at Bagram, uh, the, the rest of the SEAL team was all out there. And uh, when we opened up the doors and the flags were on it, you know, all these special operator guys all kind of stood to attention and saluted. From villages in Afghanistan to cities in Iraq. From assisting special forces get POW Jessica Lynch out of town. Doing great, Jessica. To helping recover more than 100 wounded and dead in the 2003 UN compound attack. Not only do you have combatants, you also have civilians. This is urban combat search and rescue. When I see something like this, a mission this big, I mean, that feels great because I know that they're coming for me.
Alex Quaid, CNN, Avon Park Air Force Range, Florida.